All right, so I'm going to open up and disassemble this Lenovo Legion Y545. All right, so we're going to be using a PH1 or JS1 screwdriver, and we're going to remove all the screws from the bottom. Okay, so let's go ahead. You want to keep the screws in order because they can be different size, shapes, and lengths. I'm going to organize my screws over here so I have more room because I was working on something else before. <coughs> wow, this screw's like stuck in there or something. Hmm. Are these screws not coming out? What is going on? Okay, I guess that one screw is stuck, so I'm going to leave that one. Again, they are different. The screws are different size, shapes, and lengths. Keep that in mind. Okay, come on. I have to use a magnet to get these screws out because they're a little bit difficult to remove. <clears throat> yep. All right, so these screws are kind of difficult to remove, so you might want to use a magnet to get them out. <clears throat> Customer said one of their fans aren't spinning, so we're going to see why that is. All right, let's see. It looks like they're missing a screw here. I don't know if they tried to open this already and then lost some screws or something, but one screw's missing and this screw won't even come out, so. All right, this one had like a really tiny screw. So again, you wanna try and keep the screws in order and don't get them mixed up. I don't know why this screw doesn't wanna come out, but that's really stuck in there, all right. Uh, these screws down here are probably small as well. Hmm. That screw's staying in place, so I'm gonna leave it. It looks like these bottom screws actually stay in place. I don't know if the customers worked on this computer in advance. Oh, actually, they do come out. Okay. So sometimes I get customers' computers where they opened it up and they mixed stuff up, so um, if stuff doesn't match up, just keep that in mind. Why is this screw not coming out? There we go. All right, so we got all of those out. Let's see how this laptop pops open. So I'm gonna open this up. All right, so I can get my fingers, fingernails in this gap here. So between the palm rest and then the bottom cover here. I'm going to try and do that, get my fingernails in there, and then use my thumbs to push on the back. You can try with plastic pry tools, but this is usually how I do it, okay? So here you can see, I just get my fingernails in there, and I push with my thumbs on the back to pull up the cover. All right, so now that I got that up, I'm going to go around to the side here. Okay, go over to the side, and there we go. And I'm just sliding my fingernails across as I kind of push with my thumb. And after we got the right side up, it looks like the cover is actually coming out. So you want to be careful. You don't want to just lift it over. I was kind of like using my fingers to push it up this way as I kind of lift it. So it kind of twisted it up that way. And there you go. We got the bottom cover off. The fans are pretty dusty. I don't see why they would um, stop working unless it burned out the circuit here. So we're just going to do a quick look inside here. There is an M.2. This, let me see under this. Um, this looks like a, oh, it is PCIe NVMe. I just saw on the label here. So you'll want to transfer over this thermal pad if you put a new one. But here you go. This is PCIe NVMe SSD. And then you got a 2.5 inch SATA hard drive here. The hard drive comes out. There's four screws holding this. And then you want to pull this connector off, um, but be careful because this cable is attached here, so you don't want to damage this cable. You'll want to, if you want to take this out, you can flip this latch up, and then you can pull that connector out. But I'm going to leave it in. <clears throat> the SSD here, there's a screw holding this metal bracket, 
they are using a half size M.2 SSD. Um, you can use a full sized one, but you take this metal bracket out. All right, um, let's see. We got the battery here, the battery connector. You would just grab this and wiggle this connector as you pull it out. There's a few screws holding it in place. One, two, three, four. It looks like four screws holding that in place. Um, and there's no screw in this, so that probably came from the bottom cover. All right, and then we got the RAM is usually underneath this metal box. So what I do is I use my fingernail. You can use a plastic pry tool or something. And we're just gonna kind of try and lift this bracket up. So it looks like the center part here doesn't have the metal clips that hold it down. So hopefully I can lift it up from here. Yep. Okay, so I just got underneath this metal cover and pulled that up. And then you'll have to peel this stuff off to get the metal box completely out. So just like this, and then you can kind of go around and hopefully we can lift this part up. Yep, there we go. It's a little bit difficult to pull that up, but it did come out. All right, then under here you got RAM. Again, I don't know if the customer messed with this stuff and took things out, but here you can see it's eight gigs PC4 2666V. There's some dust on there, but if you want to upgrade it, just make sure it's PC4 2666V. Um, the amount of RAM you can get whatever fits in the slot. So you can get a 16 gig, um, you, if they have 32 gigs, PC4 2666V single sticks, you can put that as well and have 64 gigs, but I don't know if they go that high. So yeah, anyways, that's how you remove the RAM. Then we got the fan connector here to remove these kind of connectors. Again, you just kind of wiggle it as you pull it and it comes out. I don't know if the customer messed with this stuff. It looks okay. I don't see anything wrong with these connectors. So I don't know if they're having a fan issue, this connector, same thing, just grab the wings and kind of just wiggle it and it'll eventually pop out. All right, I'm just gonna pull these and reseat them. But if that doesn't work, then I'm gonna have to order parts. Um, <clears throat> Cause these fans seem to spin fine. Um, they are really dusty. So, I don't know. Um, you got the speaker connector here, wireless card here. Again, the battery connector. If you're gonna work on this computer, um, if you're gonna do anything with the screen LCD connector, which I don't see on top here, I don't know. So you'd probably have to lift the motherboard out to do that. Um, but you'll want to disconnect the battery. Again, you just grab it as close as you can to the connector and just wiggle it as you pull it back. You'll want to uh, remove the screws and lift the battery up. Um, anyways, there's the keyboard connector underneath the um, SSD here. You'd have to flip this latch up to pull it out. Uh, this connector here seems to be like the CMOS or BIOS battery. I can't see the battery, but that's what the wire looks like, so I'm guessing that's what it is. And you got a separate connector here for this USB port as well as this LED light. And yeah, that's as far as this teardown is going to go. Um, hopefully this will at least help you guys upgrade your hard drive or SSDs or RAM or change out your battery. Um, there's a battery model number here if you need that. L17M3PG2. I don't know if you can read that from there. But uh, that's the model number. All right. So anyways, hopefully this video helped you guys. We're going to put this metal thing back on. <clears throat> All right. I don't want to mess around with this too much because they said their main issue is just the fans not spinning. I'm going to test it by stress testing the uh, computer and see if it's overheating or anything. Um, sometimes people will think that the fans aren't spinning but it's just because it's not running hot so at the time it's not going to spin um, so we're going to see what's going on with that and I'm going to try and line this stuff all back up here okay looks like this isn't lining up right so this goes here goes like that this and that goes like that I'm lining up the sticker residue anyways hopefully again this video helped you guys I'm oh, actually I should leave this off because I have to clean the dust off 
Um, actually, I'll clean off the dust, I'll come back, and then I'll put it back together. Um, so I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, I'm back. So the fans are much, much cleaner now. We're just going to put this back together. Okay, so we'll get that. Line up the adhesives. All right. There we go. All right, so to put this back, just do the opposite of what you did to take it out. Again, since we lifted it this way, you want to start with this side. Let me clean out that bottom grate. Okay. All right, so this side, it's still a little bit dusty. I can't really get all of that dust out. All right, so left side first. <clears throat> Make sure everything lines up. You want to get that USB port lined up and everything. And then drop this side in, and you can clip it all back down. All right, make sure, open it back up, clip all of this in, okay. Hmm. These clips don't want to go back in, right? There we go. Okay, make sure that the clips go in properly. Check all the sides, all right, that looks good. And then you basically just put all the screws back in, so... I mean, you, you should be able to figure that part out, but uh, we'll do it anyways. So I don't know what's going on with that this screw. They must have put a wrong size screw because it's just spinning forever and nothing's happening. Be careful with these screws because the the screw head is like in between a ph1 and a um, ph0 so make sure that when you're turning the final few turns you put down a lot of pressure so that it doesn't strip the top or <coughs> while you're turning it you turn it um, light enough that if it does jump out of it it's not going to damage the screw okay And that's pretty much it. So hopefully this video helped you guys. If it did, please like and subscribe. Help others find my videos. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.